lads what's going on gone here and welcome to the first episode on FIFA 13 of save us splash the cash if i remember rightly this this series went down amazing on fifa 12 i was getting 250 plus likes an episode and i was really really enjoying doing it so uh, i've obviously obviously brought it back you lot loved it um as you can see i've also brought back two players that i did do on fifa 12 that they, they may have been against different opponents but they i've done both of them i've reviewed both of them in a save or splash of cash so first up we've got tevez an absolute amazing player on fifa 13 the argentine striker you can pick him up for about 50k on xbox and slightly more expensive 62k on ps3 and he's up against kevin morales just joined everton this season amazing player in game a slightly lower rated and slightly well a lot cheaper he's 9k on ps3 and you can pick him up for around about 6 or 7k on xbox obviously the belgium striker and he plays at everton so uh that's about that for them i've got some in-game stats you'll be seeing on the screen about now first up we've got morales's in-game stats this is from a site called fut wiz you can go and check them out no they haven't paid me or offered me any money i'm just using their site for in-game stats so i thought it'd be right for me to mention their obviously their website name but yeah you can go check them out it gives you a ton of stuff shows you in-game stats you can build squads on there a little bit like FUT head. So yeah, we've got Kevin Morales. He is a four-star weak foot, three-star skiller. His best stats are his acceleration, which is mind-blowing. 89 acceleration. He also has 87 dribbling, which is amazing. 80 ball control, 80 attacking positioning. And you can play him in a ton of different formations where you can see here. And his player traits are he's a speed dribbler. He's got flair and he tries to beat the defensive line, which you see a lot in game. Next up, we've then got Carlos Tevez, who has a shitload of, look at those stats, all green. His acceleration is 84, amazing. His reactions are 91. His aggression is 92, so a very, very aggressive striker. His attack position is 89. His ball control is 85, so he's just got, they go on and on. His shot power is 86, where his shot power in game is just disgustingly good. But unfortunately, he has only got a three-star weak foot, but he has he's four-star skiller. So two amazing players up against this this episode and uh we'll go see what they play like in game so uh stay put lads so into the gameplay of these absolute two amazing strikers lads funny enough they are both very very similar look at that for a finish on his left foot his weaker foot by kevin morales an insane player funny enough these two you may think they're not too similar but in game they play so so similar it is very very hard to pull off skills in game so if you ask me being a freestyle skiller isn't isn't the worst. It, it could be worse, but uh, an amazing finish there by Kevin Morales. This guy, he's just he's got everything for not for nine k. Look, I mean that is mind blowing. That finish there is that that could go up for top goal of the week. It is just an amazing finish. He is all round amazing on his left foot again there. Another brilliant finish. To be honest, lads, what you get for the for, for his price, I mean seven k. I think he's worth about is just amazing. That's on his right foot there, top corner. He's amazing at beating the defensive line. He's super quick. He's dribbling in the box. is amazing. He's got one of the best finishes I've seen for a cheap player. I mean, he's only got 78 finishing. And as you'll see here, he's putting them away left, right, center. Here you can see he's dribbling in the box. He does not mess around. He's got absolute insane dribbling. And altogether, just he's a bit of a poacher as well. As I said, his player traits are beating the defensive line. And he's just always there. Nice bit of skill. A roulette there. Or not a roulette. A step over, sorry. And then slamming it top in. So an absolute brilliant player. We'll come on to his last goal here as well. You'll see. Beats the defender and slams it top corner. What a brilliant player, lads. Honestly, worth every penny. But anyway, we'll move on to Carlos Tevez now. And the first goal we have is him standing over a free kick. What a great finish there. I mean, he got a free kick. He got an amazing free kick. Free, uh, uh, free kick trade, sorry. But um, onto this player. He, you do notice his aggression, but not as much. I'm not going to lie. Not as much as you did notice on the other FIFAs like... He's not that sort of bulldog sort of guy because defenders are a lot better on this game. But, I mean, look at his shot power. It is just insane. You hit the ball. You can hit the ball from 30 yards plus with this guy. And 9 times out of 10, it's going to at least be on target. He has just got such a good shot. I mean, it's it's crazy. And he does only have freestyle weak foot, but his left foot isn't too bad. You see a chip there. I think that was on his left foot. Look at this for a finish. Comes inside and bang, top corner. That was definitely with his left foot. Great, great finish. Just an amazing player, Tevez. I mean... 50k he may drop in price slightly he may rise in price i'm not sure but trust me he is definitely worth 50k for what you get with him he is just a complete and uh nutcase on the ball i mean here we go again he is dribbling and beating defenders he just muscles his way through defenders and slams it 
I'm not even sure it was that bottom cut, I think. But this is the best finish of all. Look at that. that is just, that's mind-blowing. That is what you get with Carlos Tevez. An absolute amazing finish. But, lads, that is it for the gameplay. And we've obviously got to pick a winner. And to be honest, I think we're going to have to splash out the cash this week and go for Tevez. Morales is an amazing player. What you get for 9, 7, 7 to 9k is just mind-blowing. But it's not as consistent as what you get for the 50k of Carlos Tevez. Of course, he's going to be more consistent. His stats are considerably better. And that's why I'm going to have to go with him. His long shot is just mind-blowing. He is very, very, very good at beating defenders. Slightly better than Morales, I must admit. And just an all-round, just amazing player. So for 50k, lads, go out, get Tevez. And trust me, you will not be disappointed. But lads, hope you've enjoyed this episode of Save or Splash of Cash. Please remember to leave a like. Subscribe, of course, if you're new. And comment what players you'd like to see next week. I've been gone. I'm out. Peace.